This very right instant. This, this very instant. This very minute. This very minute. Not then, but now. Yeah. And maybe later. This is a Timmy I. Johnny Toxic. Bombshell Burt Williams. We are here in New York right now. We're in New York right now, or are we in Vermont? I don't New know. York. I think we're in Cross I don't know. I don't know. Smell. We're still New York. It's still, still New York. Empire it's totally City. still New York. We're uh, we're moving on a ferry. First timers right here. First time First ferry riders right here. We're on our way to Vermont. Headed up to the big APW Super Extreme Legend. And it is moving, I think so. We are moving. Oh, we, moving. we are moving. We are moving. I don't see it. Ski motor is about to be. And, uh, it's going to be ready for the championship title match tonight. You be there, Highgate Vermont, brother. Highgate Vermont. <laughs> Johnny Toxic. Going in there against an unknown Some jobber. Don't know what I'm yet. Jobber. Jobber on jobber. Right? Jobber on jobber. Tonight. We had to film. Here, take a, take a view of the, of the scenery. Why are we filming this live? Because this is our first time taking on a ferry. <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud. Say hello to Vermont. Vermont! Uno dos tres. I. Your thoughts on uh, your match tonight with Bombshell with Bert? Eh. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. Just you go out there and win. Because, you know, there's guys like Bert and there's guys like me. I. And how's the Emo Tour 2008 been going for you? Eh, you know, Deville's got her personal stuff right now. I can't really disclose on it because it's her personal stuff, not mine. For the shoot interview, of course. You know what I mean? Of course. It's not like I can Save it for her interview. Yeah. Where the fuck is my red gimmick? Where's my red gimmick? Of course, it's right here in the last fucking place. After, look, just look, look, I threw all my shit on the ground. Every last bit of it. Every last fucking thing. Even my great Sasuke mask. The great Sasuke mask. There it is. What else you got for me? Any other questions? Uh, rate the top five promotions in a list from best to worst that you've worked for. Best to worst? Top five. Hmm. It's really tough. I mean, best for memory's sake would have to be World of Hurt, just because they were kind of like the home base fed. And then, um, sorry. I'm sorry. They were like the, just like I made so many good relationships with all those people, and I had. All the fun in the world with all those guys, and I don't know. Really, that was really the kind of the place where I, like, I developed like, a little bit of a name for myself. And then my first actual like outside of indie show was for these people here. Which is pretty sweet, and they totally just marked out, whatever. And then I don't know. From there, just every other place was every other place, and. But I would have to say, like, my favorite place had to be World of Hurt, because I got my ass kicked, but I learned a lot of respect there. And... But of course, my new favorite place is Conquest Pro out in Vermont, just because it's my new hometown place. So. Uh, with uh, your beginnings in World of Hurt, were there any specific reasons for uh, your constant ass kickings? Over yes, actually. Um, there. Back in the day, before I even started wrestling, there was a place called 24-7 Wrestling. And that's where I started my training, because my mom, who's in public relations, she did a type of event where they, were, where they showed up. And then, um, that's where I started to learn how to bump and started to learn how to wrestle and everything like that. And then, after that unfolded, and, Chip Stetson, who was my trainer, kind of just ran away and just did his own thing, blah, blah, blah. 
there was only one place for me to go, which was World of Hurt, which was their arrivals, because Chip used to come from World of Hurt. So after everything went down, there was three of us that went to World of Hurt. It was me, Mike Pizzazz, and Kayla Sparks. Kayla was a girl, Mike Pizzazz quit after two months, so who got everything? I, don't know how to I took all the heat for it. So I just got my ass kicked, and I paid all my dues through all that, and... Open it up and sign it? It kind of really toughened me up, because I was kind of like a pussy as a kid and stuff like that, but it... It made me, like, learn a lot of respect and kind of build myself up, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I can't get it to say that. Uh, the constant mocking and beating uh, sort of skew your view on the wrestling world for a bit? No, because when the tough got going, they were going tough, and they kind of saw me as more of a sign of respect because, yeah, I got my ass kicked over and over and over again, but I kept showing up, and I kept coming back, so they were kind of like, wow, this kid really does have some heart, and it kind of gave more respect to the, to the other wrestlers than I did to the promoters, but then eventually the promoters um, like gained on it, and... What happened was that, that really it was just kind of like my personal accomplishment through it was uh, we're doing a shoot at interview, brother. Are we doing a shoot? shoot? I'm doing a shoot right now. Shoot out. Yeah. The kind of the kind of self accomplishment that I got from it was for the very yeah. last yeah. World of Hurt show. It was me versus the champion Reed James. Yeah. I mean, I didn't go over anything, but the fact that the very last show uh, they put me in the championship match for the cruiserweight title kind of made me. It's kind of my self accomplishment. Okay. Based on that and your performance in that match, do you feel you were the unofficially never crowned champion? <laughs> that was sweet. That was sweet how buttery just landed there. Um, no, it just, I didn't feel like I was an uncrowned champion. Alright, how do you pronounce your name? Skills. I. It's uh, funny because I have to. I have to tell them all how to say my last name just because um, I've been to shows and people always fuck them. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it, this is the shoot interview, so it's okay. So how do you say my last name? I? Yeah, it's just like that. It's like that. Because got, I gotta tell them how to say my last name just because like I've been to many a show and they've just... I get I, I, and it's like, it's like they, don't, they don't really get the whole I thing, so it's just like, it kills my gimmick, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's all about the way I get it. It ruins your street cred. It does, it does. It ruins my street cred, because I'm the biggest baller in cruiserweight wrestling. 